Welcome guys, um, as you can see in my hand is the new Ludicrous Lumens Vulpine V3. Um, how this is different to the Mark 1 and the Mark 2 Vulpine is this is totally in line um, with your scope so there's no heads up position um, your cheek is on the stock exactly where it would be shooting a day scope um, which we're quite excited about. So I'm going to run you through how you quickly set this up in a few easy steps. Right, step one of setting your new Vulpine V3 up is on the top you can see there is a, a little U cut out. If you just press that once you've got it turned on and that will bring up a menu um, on the screen. On the rear lens this is adjustable uh, by turning it left and right uh, to focus. So if you just look through it and what you're basically doing is you want to get that writing on the menu as crisp and as clear as possible. Once that is done just quickly turn it off. Step two of setting your Vulpine up is get some electrical tape and put one wrap of electrical tape round the ocular bell on your scope. In the box you get various shims that come with the Vulpine. Find out which shim suits your scope and the Vulpine best so it's nice and firm on there. Slip your shim on and just get another wrap of electrical tape and just put one wrap of electrical tape over the shim just to hold it and which allows the Vulpine to get a little bit more of a grip on it. Once that's done um, there is no need to change the diopter on the ocular bell of your scope that should be set up for where you use it as a day scope there's no need to touch that at all. So once you put your wrapper tape on your shim, offer your Vulpine up and that should fit on nice and snugly and then just tighten it up. And as you can see, that is nice and snug and firm fitting. Right, once step one and step two are complete, now it's down for focusing the Vulpine. So as you can see on the right hand side of the Vulpine you've got a wheel on there. So what you do, once you pop the Vulpine on oops, tighten that up turn your Vulpine on so now you're looking at your crosshairs once you've lined your Vulpine up so it's sitting nice and squarely. So with the focus wheel you're now <coughs> focusing the crosshairs. So play with the wheel and go through, through it and find out where your crosshairs are the crispest. So you want nice dark crisp crosshairs and that's Step three complete. So guys, you've done step one, which is focus the menu with the rear uh, lens on the Vulpine. Step two, you've fitted your shim with a wrap of tape, fitted your Vulpine on so it's nice and secure and tight on the back of your scope. Step three, you've done the focus wheel to make sure that your crosshairs are as crisp as anything. So now the only step that you've got left to do is step four and that's your IR or laser torch whichever you choose. If you get your torch and put it into as tight a spot as it'll get then keep on looking through your Vulpine and slowly flood it out until it's until you get in a full picture on the screen and that's it 
that's complete. The only other thing you really need to um, adjust then is your parallax for focus. Um, but that will all depend on how far you want him to shoot. Enjoy your Vulpine guys.